Hello, dear students. Today, I am talking about what is the meant to buy files and folders. Let's start our lesson today. What is the meant to buy the files? The file is a set of data stored in storage units in different kinds and extensions, such as video files. They are created by videos or audio programs. Image files, they are created by graphic programs. Text files, they are created by MS Word in Microsoft Office or Writer in LibreOffice. System files, they belong to operating systems, programs, and sets connected to the computer. Let's know how to create a text file. Open Start menu, then select Microsoft Word. As you see, write the text that you want, for example, operating system format it as you see by changing its color place it in the center make it bold change its size as you see after that you can save this file how can you save this file at the first time you can save the file from file menu select save as you see what do you notice this is a dialog box its name is save as also from file menu you can select save as as you see we notice that the same dialog box which is save as appears as you see from this dialog box you can determine three things of the file you can write the name of the file in file name you can determine its type from save as type determine its location for example desktop as you see then press save button close the file where is our file our file is here in the desktop its name is Operating system dot d o c dot doc. We notice that the file name consists of two parts. The first part is operating system. The second part is d o c. The first part is called the origin name. The second part is called its extension the origin name is separated from its extension with dot as you see this extension was taken from Microsoft Word the 
extension of the fine often consists of three letters, as you see. Reopen this file again. And write another word. As you see, then save it. To save it, click Save from File menu. Select Save or Control S from the keyboard. Close the file and reopen it again. As you see, you notice that the modification of the file is saved as you see. So we can deduce that to save the changes, choose save only from file menu so we can deduce that to save the changes of the file choose save only from file menu but if you want to change the name of this file or its place or its extension As, as you see or from the keyboard choose control plus shift plus s as you see after explaining what is the meant to buy the file let's know what is the meant to buy the folder the folder is a place inside a storage device that contains a file or more also subfolders we use the folders to organize contents of storage units why to reach files easily and quickly Remark, folders have several similar shapes according to operating system type and content. After explaining what is the meant by the folders, let's know how to create a folder in Fedora operating system. This is Fedora operating system. Let's know how to create a new folder in Fedora system. To create a new folder in Fedora system, follow the following steps. Right click in a free place as you see. From context menu, select new folder command. Then write its name. Then click create button. To know properties of this folder, right click on it. Then choose properties. We notice that properties of it is its name and also its type. Also, 
its contents. You can also know its location which appears in parent folder. You can also know the free space of this folder. You can make a copy of it where at the same storage unit or other storage unit. Let's see how. Right click on it, then choose copy from context menu. Right click in a free place, then choose from context menu, paste. You notice that this is a copy of this folder in a same place. This is a copy of it. Also, you can make a copy of it in another place. For example, desktop. Right click in a free place, then choose paste as you see. Also, you can move this folder from one place to another. Let's see how. Right click on it, then choose cut. Move to the new place, then right click on a free place, then choose paste from context menu. Also, you can rename this folder. Let's see how. Right click on the folder, then choose Rename from Context Menu. Write the new name, then press Rename button. Also, you can delete this folder. Let's see how. Right click on it, then choose Move to Trash. What do you mean with trash? Trash is a basket. We can put inside it deleted files or folders, as you see. From this trash, you can delete the folder or restore it to its place. Let's see how. Move to trash. Right click on this folder, then choose Restore from Trash. Why? To restore it to its place again. Move to its place. We notice that it is restored in its place. Delete it again by choose Move to Trash. Then move to trash to delete it forever. Choose delete from trash from context menu. So it is deleted forever. We can deduce from that delete means Move the file or folder to trash, so we can restore it again to its place. But delete from trash means you can't restore it again because it is deleted forever. 